Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third and final Miss Survivor finalist interview. Uh, we have a very fun interview, uh, hopefully, coming your way today as we speak with a woman who is the winner of Survivor San Juan del Surf. Please welcome uh, your third finalist, Natalie Anderson. Yes. Thank you. And I'm glad you saved the best for last. I mean, <laughs> it's only right, right? I did not say the best for last. This was what time you said worked for you. <laughs> I do not order these in any particular way. I just go by what is when people are available. Natalie, <laughs> and you are on the road today, right? Yes, I'm in Michigan um, on the road with my best friend and, uh, and Nadia. So I'm doing this on the fly. Yes. Well, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule, your Survivor Victory Tour. I know. And, you know, Rob, like I said before, like we've known each other for a long time. You know, we're... we're it's been three years now in a row that we, you've been in our lives and so many exit interviews, so many, you know, this is our first, you know, with you, it was the first time we won with Natalie. Um, so, <laughs> so many highs and lows. Rob, I have a question. You couldn't tell us apart? Seriously? I can Oh, no. Wait, wait, you, tri Nadia. you tricked me? I have time. Uh... Come on, Rob. I uh, I should've... Well, I should have. Oh, man, Rob, come on. Come on. <laughs> Anyway. It's uh, okay. not, you. Uh, I should I should have known better from Survivor. How do I know? Wait, how do I know this is the real? This is the real Natalie. Well, there's a blonde hair. That's supposed to be the giveaway. The blonde hair. Yeah, well, the lighting isn't there. great. I go by the no. I go by the nose ring. Well, she. I have the hoop. Nadi had the stud on, but whatever. It's all good. All right, all right. Well, you got me today, just like you got everybody in Survivor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nadia could have pulled it off longer, but she messed up already. All right, so. well, that's <laughs> way way to go, way to go. All right, tell uh, Nadia got somebody. All right, so here we are. It is now the finals of Miss Survivor. Uh, tell us a little bit. Besides trying to trick me and pulling pranks on me, uh, what would a Natalie Miss Survivor run look like? Um, if I was crown, which I think I should be, obviously, um, Miss Survivor, I would bring a lot to the table. I feel like one of the things I really want to do is, um, you know, offer my babysitting services to the Mr. Survivor, whoever wins. I know Tony's very, very busy, and so is Jeremy. And so what I would do is, uh, I was an official babysitter. I don't know if anybody knows this before. I, um, you know, won a million bucks. So I would help Tony with these kids. I would help Jeremy if he wanted with these kids. Obviously, Spencer doesn't have kids, so he doesn't need me. But um, that's one of the things I want to do. That would free up uh, some time of Tony so that he can, uh, you know, go on the road. He can, you know, meet all his fans and take his uh, Mr. Survivor very seriously. And so is Jeremy. Um, the other thing I'm promising to do is if I'm on Tinder and I see somebody who likes either Survivor or the Rob has a podcast um, on Facebook. I will not swipe left. I will swipe right. <laughs> Wait, so I you're you're prostituting yourself that. out for for votes? Uh, totally. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, what a campaign left. promise! <laughs> <laughs> I swipe left to all guys who have Survivor as a mutual liking on Facebook. But from now on, I agree. And solemnly swear to swipe right. <laughs> Does That's anybody I, have you ever seen anybody on Tinder that say they're a Rob as a podcast listener? Yes, and I see Twitty fans like people who like my fan page on Facebook. <laughs> it's so awkward, but from now on, I'm willing to go on dates with stalkers, fans, whoever it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Well, this is a pretty big campaign promise. We've never had anything like that. Yeah, I know. It's uh, whatever I know. It's good. Wow, uh, this is big, this is big news. Uh, and so you're offering babysitting for the Mister Survivor. What about babysitting for uh, for the host of Robin's podcast? I'll babysit for you for sure. Uh, okay. You know, I'm a really good babysitter. Um, I used to babysit three kids in Miami, and right before Survivor, actually, I was out there babysitting before I got called to be on. So. Um, all the moms that I babysit for can vouch for me. Um, Nadia and I are really good with kids, and so I'm totally going to give out my services to whoever needs them if I'm crowned a survivor. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to be invited to a lot of events, so John and Jacqueline's wedding. If 
uh, you know, John Rock is doing an event, uh, I would be there and I'm willing to tweet live. Instagram, I'm an Instagram whore, so I'm always on uh, on gram Instagramming. And uh, Rocco was in Jersey last uh, month, and me and Adi and him ended up at a strip club. And, uh, you know, those are things that I'm willing to, you know, give details and share with fans if I'm loaded. Uh, <laughs> so, so you would live tweet John Rocker at a strip club? Yes, for sure. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, John Jackson's wedding is coming up. I'll definitely be there. And, uh, you know... It'll all be good during my reign. And you will live tweet also John and Jacqueline's wedding. What about uh, Reed and Josh's wedding? Will oh, you yes. be there? If I'm invited to their uh, wedding, I will, I'm not sure if I'm going to be invited. <laughs> but if I'm invited, I will for sure tweet all the details. Yeah. I think you, you might be okay. I'm not sure about Nadia. Yeah, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it's kind of a package deal, so if they don't invite Nadia, I'm not going to go. So. Yeah. Now, do you get invited with a date, or you have to bring Nadia as a date? Um, I don't know. It depends. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be intimate. I'm not going to bring be able to bring a Tinder date to somebody's wedding. <laughs> but, um, you know, if I'm allowed to date, maybe I'll take a fan as my date. As a wow, you would bring a wife. fan as a date to John and Jacqueline's wedding? Yes, vote me as Mr. Vibe and I will totally do it. <laughs> How will you pick the fan? Um, I don't know. That's a, that We can do a podcast competition, you know? Who knows okay. Natalie the best or something? Now, other than trying to uh, trick me, how would you incorporate Nadia into your Miss Survivor run if you were elected? Uh, well, it allows me to have a double. So say if I'm double booked for an event, Nadia can do one event pretending to be me, and I can do the other event. Um, also, Nadia can be you know, back up in any situation if we're uh, in a scary situation and uh, say somebody tries to assassinate me. As, yes, um, a sticky uh, situation. You know, Miss Survivor. Even. I have a you know somebody standing in ready to take over, so there is no room. There won't be any. Oh my God, who's gonna be Miss Survivor? Because I have somebody willing to step in if I you know you know get killed. And um, and you dying <laughs> wouldn't make Nadia so distraught. She wouldn't be able to carry out her Miss Survivor duties. No, Nadia is a very strong girl, and she's like me. Um, she'll you know obviously she'll moan, but she'll realize that Miss Survivor would need her attention immediately, and she'll. Be willing to step into the position. Exactly. She would be able to overcome <laughs> the, the tragic loss, and and she would be able yes. to persevere. All my money too, so I think she'll probably <laughs> like it, you know. Uh, Boy, so Nadia has a lot of incentive to see you get bumped off in the next year, then. Uh, yeah, come to think of it, she does, but it's fine. <laughs> All right. Hopefully so, so if you really like Natalie, maybe don't vote for her for Miss Survivor because then Nadia would have less motive to no, see her. No, 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 no. Just vote for me. <laughs> All right. Um, we spoke with Jeremy yesterday. Jeremy <laughs> said that you guys are a package deal running for Mr. and Miss Survivor. Uh, is that how you see things also? Um, you know, first I want to say I'm very flattered that two of the Mr. Survivors, Mr. Survivors are endorsing me as their running mate, which is, I mean, come on, if two of the three are endorsing me as Miss Survivor, I think it's the obvious choice that, you know, people need to vote for me. Um, but I was very flattered that uh, Tony said that he wanted me to win so that we could, you know, kind of rule over Jersey together. Um, but I think my loyalty is with Jeremy, just because we went through so much together and... Um, I want to see Jeremy really campaign and win. Um, he has a strong case. He's really well liked, and uh, he's obsessed with Love Has a Podcast. He's a huge fan, and um, you know I'm I'm being loyal to my blood versus water. We went through a lot. People like to throw a little bit of shade our way, but um, both of us feel like uh, we brought a lot to the table. And I think a lot of people say that I single-handedly saved the season. So um, I'm staying strong to. Blood versus Water 29, and I'm running with Jeremy as my sidekick. Okay. And you will work together uh, as Mr. and Miss Survivor if you both win. What if you don't win? What What if either Tony or I'm sorry, what if to, either Tony or Spencer wins? Will you be able to work with those guys? Um. Yeah, I get along with everybody. You know, nobody has ever said anything bad about me uh, from my cast. Um, and uh, I feel like I would get along with all of the guys. Ideally, you know, I would love to be with uh, Jeremy because we've gone through so much together and we kind of have like the same kind of experience because 
when I was fighting to get revenge for Nadia and Jeremy, Jeremy was watching all of that happen, and he feels like a part of my uh, survivor journey. And uh, you know, but if, if he doesn't win, I would work very well with Tony or with Spencer. So, and I think Tony's right in my neighborhood, and Jeremy's only three hours away. We could, uh, you know, get together, do events. We could uh, make it work, however happens. And even Spencer, Spencer's a cool guy. I met him in uh, L.A. I was wasted when I met him the first time, but <laughs> it was uh, a good time. And he's a uh, he's all the three um, Mr. Survivors are really cool, and I would be excited to work with either of them. Okay, and we don't have to worry. You'll be you'll party too much as Miss Survivor. I mean, that's part of the deal. It's a party. <laughs> oh, also as Miss Survivor, I'm willing to go to people's birthday parties if you invite me. Oh. And, and uh, make sure there's yummy cake, and I'll be there. Yeah. Oh. Well. I'll just, I'll show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you'll just show up. I'll just show up. Roger I'm that. Not, yeah. Roger that. Uh, <laughs> All right, and why should you be Miss Survivor instead of Tasha or Kelly, who are very qualified candidates? Um, I feel like I deserve to be Miss Survivor because, one, I'm the sole survivor and the Rob has a podcast fan fave. I think it would be really cool to have a triple, you know, triple crown and take it all home. Um, I'm taking this very seriously because it's by the fans and Survivor. On Survivor, the fans don't get to vote out people, so I think this is the way they kind of uh, – show their loyalties, where they lie, who they like, who they don't like. And so I think it's really cool that I was voted fan fave, even like almost cooler than winning Survivor. Uh, wow. And, uh, you know, winning this would be like amazing because then I'll have all three in the bag and um, it would mean a lot. I, uh, you know, I came into Survivor with a lot of things stacked up against me, Nadia going off first and the fact that I played a singles game the entire time and uh, won, not like, Come on, what did Kelly last, like three votes? I mean, she's cute, she, you know, she's whatever, but she was not good at Survivor. And um, most of the people from our cast, if you asked what they thought of Kelly, they didn't have nice things to say. Versus me, nobody ever said anything bad about me. On I Survivor. bet somebody did. I bet somebody Who did. Somebody? Said something about I'm gonna. I'll. I'm. Let me uh, text Reed okay, after this. Gail doesn't count. Gail's probably the only one. Who's <laughs> see, what, to see what Dale has to say. Yeah, Dale is a pissed off. Maybe <laughs> Kelly may not have something nice to say after this. Well, I don't care. So, um, you know, I'm better than Kelly. Tasha was good, but she was a jury member. I'm the only girl that won the title of Soul Survivor, and I won fan faves. So, I'm ready to take it home and make the fans proud. I think okay. I deserve it. All right, and before uh, we get to the talent portion, uh, besides Survivor, would you want a podcast about anything else on Rob as a podcast? Um, well, I love doing podcasts with you. I would love to do it uh, this season and, you know, do it with the Mr. Survivor winner. I would podcast about, um, oh, yeah, about how to get into shape for Survivor. I mean, everybody said that I was really good on the challenges, and I have uh, the best asset, me and Nadia work out with, a CrossFit Games athlete, and so I could give tutorials slash podcasts on how to get into shape, uh, to kick ass on challenges, and I would also do maybe a podcast on Tindering and uh, a, Tinder, a guy's tutorial on how to improve your Tinder, how to choose pictures, how to like you know do your little caption under your name, um, and how uh, like improving guys' Tinders because. Tinder's a mess. Like most of the places I go, most guys, the Tinders are, are horrific. Like pictures are horrific. Guys choose like the creepiest pictures, like holding cats by their face or like with llamas. I don't get it. Don't get <laughs> llamas? Was it, so to, was it Tony's hot. Tinder? So, I, I know, exactly. Llama taunts. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody on Tinder has a picture with a freaking llama. I don't get it. So maybe we can <laughs> Tony made it popular. About... All right. Uh, we have to get to uh, the talent portion of this uh, okay, competition. Cool. All right. Natalie, what have you uh, prepared for us today for the talent portion uh, of the Miss Survivor? I have a two-segment um, talent portion. One is going to showcase my strength. And then one is going to showcase my just, um, you know, my artistic and fun side. Okay. First, we're going to do strength, so let's go. Okay. So we have another, a, a new chair being wheeled into place, it seems like. Natalie has a team of assistants helping her today. Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the red corner at five feet, zero inches tall, CrossFit Games athlete out of CrossFit Passaic Valley, the 25th fittest woman in the world, Sheila Farder! Okay, so we're being introduced to another person. <laughs> and fighting out of the blue corner, sole survivor, reigning champ, from the great country of Sri Lanka, <laughs> Adelaide Anderson! Okay. Let the games begin. Ladies, shake hands. <laughs> Sheila Barton takes off her jacket. What is this? Oh my god. Ruby is very excited as well. <laughs> Natalie and Sheila take a knee. Look at those muscles. Ladies, are you ready? Okay, we Three, appear to have some arm wrestling happening. Two, one, go! The girls are fighting. It's neck and neck. The eye, can you see the sweat in the girls? Natalie's losing. Looks like it's going down. Sheila Barton's muscles tighten. Natalie, can she pull it off? It's getting close. Natalie comes down, taking Sheila down for the win! And Sheila Barton is down! Natalie Anderson wins the arm wrestling contest! Wow, some very impressive arm wrestling. A, a no challenge for the sole survivor. <laughs> Let's see those guns again, girl. And this Let's wasn't go. fixed? This was uh, this was legit? I've been training for this uh, talent competition for so long, and you know, um, it's nice to see everything come into place. And being wow. a game athlete, you know, fittest girl in the world. How, wow, does the 25th... How does it feel? It feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. now we're moving on to our second part. All right. All right. So, Nat so Natalie now has a, a guitar over her shoulder. Okay. So, um, you know, I was actually asked to appear on the Jimmy Fallon show for the lip syncing competition uh, for the Super Bowl. But I said, no, you know what? I'm saving my talents for Rob as a podcast, and I'm going to perform my song for Rob because, okay. you know, who cares about Jimmy Fallon? Um, he tweeted <laughs> us, actually. He tweeted Nadia and I at the start of the season saying he was a fan of the Trinis, but I said Rob is more important than, than uh, Jimmy Fallon, so I'm going to save it for him. Okay. So here's my lip syncing ability. <laughs> Yes. Well, Natalie, we're running into a sticky situation that we're running out of time, so we need to... Uh... Okay, we're cutting it off. All right. <laughs> Unless somebody's going to come out and, and uh, eat a chicken in a second, uh, we should... Uh... I know. I need the backdrop of food, but the food fight, yes. but it's... All right. So no right. food fight, but but great job no. lip syncing. For those of you listening to the audio, it was a lip sync of uh, the great yes. uh, sticky situation. Okay. 
<laughs> yes, great job. Great job. All right, is you ready for some questions? Yes, let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Uh, Ken Crowner wants to know, uh, number one, will you be loyal to the survivor community now, or are you still an amazing racer at heart? Tough question. Um, I think that I would, I consider myself more of a survivor player at this point. I didn't win Amazing Race, but Amazing Race is always going to have a special place in my heart. I'm still friends with a lot of the cast members and, um, you know, I'm, I'm loyal to both, but I would say more loyal at this point to Survivor just because it made me win uh, a million bucks. And also I was really accepted by the Survivor community for being as cutthroat as I am versus on Amazing Race sometimes. They uh, expect you to be way more PC and nice, and I like the fact that the survival community, you know, openly embraces uh, being super competitive and cutthroat. You're edgy, edgy. Okay. So uh, Patrick Layer wants to know, in your season rehab up podcast with Rob, you said that if you were voted out first in San Juan del Sur, Nadia would not have won the game. If Nadia were a finalist for Miss Survivor, would she be able to win in your place? Uh, yeah, Nadia would be able to win on Miss Survivor. Um, Miss Survivor is, um, me and Nadia are very similar, and I think Nadia would make a good candidate, even though she went out first. I think she could still have a stronger campaign than Kelly, just because she's more liked, she's more, um, you know, more, got more pizzazz than Kelly, and uh, I would see her winning over Kelly and Tasha, even if I wasn't here, so. Okay, that's big, those are uh, big claims. Yeah, I mean, Nadia's like the, basically the same person as me, so obviously i got to believe in her. I don't know. I think there's a lot of differences. Yeah, there is. There is. <laughs> All right. Uh, let, Ron Chan wants to know, Natalie, which competition do you think is the hardest to win, Survivor, The Amazing Race, or Miss Survivor? Ah, uh, well, you know, Survivor, I can control everything, and Amazing Race, I also had a lot of control. Miss Survivor is probably the hardest to win but because I'm going against people and I have to put all the faith into the fans' hands. So it's hard for me to just hope that everybody's going to make the right decision. I hope they do, and I hope they all vote for me. But I think this is going to be tougher than winning Survivor, definitely. Wow. So I, you know, I'm nervous, and uh, I can't control everybody, but I hope that they vote for me. So I would say this is harder than Survivor. Okay, wow. Harder than Survivor. All right, John Johnston wants to know, if you lost Miss Survivor, would you take your anger out on John Rocker or Jim the Dentist? Who's Jim? The, oh, the Amazing Race guy? Yes. Uh, on John Rocker, he's, he's a way, it would be way more fun to take my anger out on um, now since we're like basically friends. And uh, he's good. He's like me, so he can take it. And I think um, John Rocker would be way more fun to get mad at. Will John Rocker have a place in your community or in your cabinet as uh, Miss Survivor? Yes, for sure. Um, you know, John's a fun guy. He's good at uh, getting uh, crowds riled up, and maybe he could be the guy that introduces me at, at events. Or even my bodyguard, he'd make a perfect bodyguard <laughs> to travel with me and, um, you know, be security uh, at events because uh, nobody wants to mess with John Rocker. He's scary mother. So... Um, <laughs> You know, of course I can find room for him, and I think Nadi would really like that if I invited him into, you know, the party. Okay. Uh, and finally, uh, Daphna Andrews wants to know, do you promise to stay real through your reign as Miss Survivor and not let it change you and continue to argue with Nadia in grocery stores and other public places? Um, yes, I will promise to argue with Nadia on a daily basis. Um, <laughs> And, of course, I'm not going to change. Uh, you know, Nadia and I have been doing this for three years. I don't think that I'm, you know, it makes me feel really honored to win Survivor, and I've never taken myself too seriously. I know other Survivor winners and just even some players who haven't even done well want to act bougie or too good for everybody. I really don't, you know, put myself on any crazy pedestal. I'm really proud of what I did, and I think it was a great feat, but I definitely – would never change who I am or not be down to earth. I feel like I'm really connected with the fans. I never act better than anybody, except in this case, I'm way better than Kelly and Tasha, so vote for me. <laughs> uh, but other than that, you know, I'm, I'm super down to earth and I definitely won't change uh, who I am as a person um, just because I want to. Okay. And if you won, uh, you wouldn't just run back to Sri Lanka with the title and then we would never see you again? 
No, I promise to stay in the States for my one year, my one year reign. And if I was to go to Sri Lanka, I would promise to do some charity fundraising in Sri Lanka and wear my sash proudly while I do it. You would bring awareness of Rob as a podcast to Sri Lanka? Yeah, I don't know if they can. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They can just listen to it. Who cares? They know what it is or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's most of the most of our audience. They don't even know what this is. Okay. Uh, well, well, thank you so much, uh, Natalie and Nadia, and all of your arm wrestling friends. Uh, great job here today. Thank you, Rob. Yes, we and, look uh, forward to seeing you in the debate as well. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. And like I said. You know, you have one member, one person running that didn't make jury. You have a jury member, and then you have the sole survivor running for Miss Survivor. And I just feel like uh, it would be a vote wasted if you did not vote for me because you're going to get the full package with me. So vote for me, and I promise that the 20 is going to deliver. Okay, great job here today, Natalie. Thank you so much. Uh, I know you're traveling, so I appreciate you taking the time yes. for to spend with the voters and with me. And uh, we will see you uh, this upcoming week in the debates. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you for uh, having me, and I'm looking forward to the debates. All right, we'll talk to you again soon, okay? <laughs> Bye. All right. Take care. Everybody, check out the other videos if you haven't seen them yet on Miss Survivor and Mr. Survivor. And we'll bring you more news and updates on when we're having uh, the Miss Survivor, Mr. Survivor de debates next week. And then opening up the polls the week after that here on Rob as a Podcast. Subscribe for more videos at robinswebsite.com slash YouTube. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.